filming on weigh-in day only because I just finished doing my second job um, which is online and I have to teach at my desk with a computer um, so I guess I just do my video right after I do that it just makes it easier it's quiet no one else is around so yeah so that's probably what I'll be doing and it's weigh-in day so yeah I weighed myself today it's exactly the same as last week yeah so <laughs> um i'm not sure how to feel about it i know last video i talked a lot about my pcos and things like that i think me working out and changing my diet and stuff and my water intake has kind of like rocked it a little bit or maybe just my body a little bit because my period was supposed to start like last week and it just started today um which again, I'm happy it stays the same because like I said, I know a lot of people say they gain weight on their period. So maybe that's a good thing I stay the same. Um, I'm hoping it's not another weird, super long plateau. Um, that's my fear right now, but I'm trying not to think that that would happen again because the last one was five weeks long. And I, t I really, I... I don't want that to happen again. Yes, progress is progress, but five weeks of the same weight was very um, annoying. So again, I am 228.6, um, and that's what I was last week. So I'm hoping I see a change um, this coming week. I have been getting my steps in every day. I have been getting a workout in. It's Wednesdays is hard. Um, I'm going to actually eat dinner right after I do this video and hope I can get a workout in and get the rest of my steps in because um, I go straight from work into my second job on Wednesdays and it's 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 like there's no steps happening. My second job, I can't do steps. <laughs> my first job on Wednesdays is full of meeting meetings. So... There's not a lot of movement happening during the day on Wednesdays. Um, so I'm hoping after my dinner, I can get in some steps before I have to get baby ready for bed and get ready for work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm learning a lot about my PCOS. Um, I mean, YouTube is amazing. There's so many videos I've been watching. And I'm going to try cutting out um, some more dairy. Um, I've been really good on my calorie count, you know. I've been really good on my water intake. Um, but PCOS is just a whole different thing. It's a hormonal disorder. So um, one of the things that's suggested in a lot of videos on YouTube is cutting dairy, right, um, and animal products. Um which is really hard for me because I love meat. <laughs> I love eggs. Um, but the cheese and milk, I can definitely cut out. So I plan on going grocery shopping on Saturday. And I will be getting me some um, almond milk, which I like anyway. So I'll be using plain almond milk for when I do get that craving for like hot chocolate or anything like that. Um, and then... I will also be cutting back on the cheese, so I will be getting some vegan um, cheese. I'll be trying that out and seeing because I do put cheese on a lot of stuff. Like when I have my cauliflower um, mashed potatoes, I usually put um, cheese on that. I have like loaded cauliflower mashed potatoes. Um, on my omelets, I usually put some cheese. Um, salads, I usually put some cheese. So I will be trying the vegan cheese out to see if um, I like that and if I can um, kind of cut out some of the animal product in my diet to see if that is going to 
make a change and up my weight loss and help me deal with my PCOS. Um, but learning about it over the past couple weeks and really looking at videos and um, researching has really helped me out and has explained a lot of what's been going on my whole life. Um, why I've been having such a struggle losing weight, even though I am pretty active. I am an active person. Um, it's, it's really explaining a lot. And I'm really grateful for the information that is on the internet and is on YouTube because I feel like OBGYNs um, really don't explain it. I mean, they did, they don't. I mean, yes, when I got diagnosed officially with PCOS, I've heard it mentioned before. You know, OBGYNs have mentioned it before and haven't really given much information. And I mean, I can't blame myself too that I didn't ask those questions. Um, but I didn't, I was young, I was a teenager and I really didn't know. Um, but now when I was diagnosed right before, um, during my pregnancy, actually, <laughs> right the day I went to tell my OBGYN I was pregnant because I was coming back for like a two month checkup after my last, my, my, uh, my, um, miscarriage. So when I came back, she was like, oh, you know, um, I'm happy you came because I need to let you know you have PCOS. And I said, well, I came to let you know that I'm pregnant again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and she didn't really give me, she gave me one sheet of paper with just some general information and didn't really fill me in on what what PCOS really was and what the struggles with it really are. Um, yes, I will say, you know, because right after that, we went into the fact, you know, we started running tests and came out that I was diabetic. Um, and then she had to switch me to a specialist doctor. Maybe that's why she didn't go into detail about the PCOS, but I feel like I wasn't really informed by my doctor. Um, and I'm being informed by all these wonderful doctors on YouTube. <laughs> wonderful YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's really my update for this week. When it comes to the other parts of my life, work is okay. It's a little stressful, but we have a break coming up. Hey, <laughs> so I'll be home for a little bit and I'm excited about that. And when it comes to dissertation writing, I am waiting for feedback from my committee on the stuff that I submitted last week. And I've been working on little things like editing and stuff, but everything is great everything is good and I keep on pushing on guys Noom is amazing I'm still using it I'm still doing what I have to do on there and things keep pushing forward all right guys I hope everybody's doing well and I'll see you next week <laughs>